and free coming through. Hi, Busy. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, hello, Wanda. My goodness, it's hard to believe that 53 years ago, my Howard was this size. Hey, Ma! I'm thirsty! Oh, all right, Howard. Reading funny books in his treehouse again. Hey, little help. Hi, Midge. Hi, Sylvia. Getting ready for your league? Oh, yeah. We could still use a good point guard. Oh, I haven't played in years. They're talking to me. Right. So sorry. Hey, neighbors. Josie, your garden is beautiful. And here's a rose for little Zoe. Just getting everything squared away before our winery tour of the Loire Valley. Hey, can we take your mail in while you're gone? Great. Bon voyage. <laughs> take care, Have everybody. a great trip. That was a nice thing to do, honey. Hey, good neighbors make a good neighborhood. And we have great neighbors. Rodney! I'm not putting them on! Oh, you're putting them on! No! I gotta see if your Easter pants still fit. I hate those pants. They're itchy. You could be uncomfortable for one hour a year. That's what religion's all about. Now get down here and put them on. No. On! No! This is not a negotiation. Negotiate this! Oh, you're in trouble now. I'm coming up there. Gravity gonna stop working? Oh, keep talking. Keep talking. Why does every block have to have one bad family? Oh, the Bittermans aren't that bad. But it's very frustrating. We work hard to raise Zoe in a wholesome environment, and instead she's exposed to this. You're coming down now. Hey, that's our tree! Ah, oh, it's no use. We'll have to throw something away to make space. How about the liquor cabinet? Wanda, we can't throw out our liquor. What if we want to toss a swing and party? I'll get a garbage bag. Hello. <laughs> hmm, that smells like my grandpa's beard. Grandpa Billy? Yeah. He was such a lovable old guy, always in a good mood, talking in silly voices. And no matter how loud we played, he never complained. Just drank his tea and took his naps. <laughs> oh, my God. Grandpa had good taste. This is single malt scotch. Does that really taste better? Oh, yeah. Try a sip. Mmm. Woodsy. Yeah, that's the oak barrel you're picking up. They age it for 12 years until it's reached its peak of... <coughs> uh, flavor <coughs> and <coughs> smoothness. Hi, <coughs> Wanda has a baby. <coughs> Hi, Melinda. What's up? Uh, we gotta go in your backyard, uh... Rodney threw his church pants over the fence. Go ahead. <clears throat> the gate's open. Thanks. Did you see that bottle? Did you smell her breath? She was ripped as a rummy on government check there. It can't be true. Wanda's my friend. Wake up, Mel. Your friend is a negligent booze mama. I'm gonna be keeping a closer eye on our dear neighbors. Hey, Captain. What you doing? Hey, Kenny. I'm the chairman of my neighborhood Easter egg hunt, and I'm drawing a map of good hiding places. Oh, my God, you're serious! Go ahead, make fun. But if pitching in to make my daughter's neighborhood a better place makes me a dork, then fine, I'm a dork. Ah, oh, you're not just a dork, Captain. You're the Prince of Dorkness. <laughs> yeah, I should write for Frasier. Don't tell. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to find a special place for you. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Perfect. Oh, -ho. didn't count on me having night vision goggles, did you, Snoopy Doo? Now, do you believe there's something off about that family? Oh, my God. I bet Daryl's out there every night watching me do my lady's business. Why doesn't Wanda do something? Probably passed out in a puddle of her own sick. This is awful. We're living next door to a rub-a-dub and a peeper. I knew they were trouble when they came around collecting for UNICEF. You know that's a cult. I do now. Smile. Look how beautiful you two are in your Easter bonnets. You look nice, too. Uh-oh. What? Daryl? Wow, that is one big mother bee. It's going after the flowers in my hat! Do something! Do something! 
And there he was, straddling the branch, hoping to get a glimpse of me and my seductives. And yeah, dollars to donuts were all stars in his private video collection. And I checked the recycle bin this morning. It was full of empty liquor bottles. You went through the garbage? Good work, son. Well, I find it very hard to believe the McPhersons would ever... Ah! Don't let him get me! Don't let him get me! Wanda, stop! You know, running only makes it worse. You were saying? On Easter Sunday. And in front of the baby. I'm a wreck about it. Kids are so impressionable. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's better. And look what I found in the trunk of his car. Good hiding places? For what? Isn't it obvious? Japanese erotica. Thanks for setting us straight, Carl. The people have a right to know about this. Now let us celebrate the fellowship of this joyous day by raising our voices in song. We have a lot to be thankful for, sweetie. We certainly do. Raising our daughter in such a fine community. Blessed be the time that binds. And she gave the baby a liquor bottle by mistake. My Howard saw the whole thing through his telescope. Saints preserve us, an innocent babe raised by two devils. So on really dark nights, when clouds hide the moon, Mr. and Mrs. McPherson rise out of the toilet and sneak up on kids while they're sleeping. I want my juice. We can be quiet, Howard. Rodney's talking. Anyway, they sneak up on you while you're sleeping so they can crack open your skull. Then they suck out your brains. Mm, brains. Yeah. Rodney saw them do it. Yeah, here he's running a Japanese sex ring out of his basement. I thought Daryl was a wimp. I didn't know he was a perv. I have a new topic for today's sermon. Satan walks among us! Oh, both got them beady eyes. Did it seem to you like we were getting lots of strange looks in church? Hello, Mrs. Johnson! <laughs> What's going on? I'm following them right now. Oh, Murphy, I have something for you. Slowly. It's a flyer for the Easter egg hunt. Set it on the ground. Kick it over here. There's Punch! Hey, Rodney, Megan, Shelby. I hope we see you at the Easter egg hunt this afternoon. You think we never read Hansel and Gretel? We'll pass, thanks. Come on, kids. I'm giving the winner a special surprise. It's OK, Shelby. They can't get you in the daylight. Rodney, Shelby, you get in here right now. Melinda, why is everybody acting so weird? You're calling us weird? That's a funny. Oh, and uh, Wanda, tomorrow at breakfast, try a little milk on your cornflakes. For the kids' sake. Daryl, you know how every neighborhood has a bad family? Yeah. I think we're it. <laughs> I was pouring the whiskey out! Into your mouth. Rodney, we do not say things like that to Mrs. McPherson's face. It's not like she'll remember. Why don't you believe me? One day I saw the whole thing on a Lifetime Channel original movie with the marquee posters, you. What was it called? I'm not a drunk. Nah, it was something else. There we go. Rodney, that's not good for the grass. Look, I'm not judging. 
I might nip a little, too, if my husband spent his evenings peeping in windows. He was hiding Easter eggs. Oh, Wanda, don't enable. Look, I hope you work out your problems. I really do, but I got a family to keep safe. Mommy! I'm a flying pointy thing! Yes, you are, Megan. You're telling me you won't deliver a pizza to my house? What do you mean you thought I preferred Japanese? Hello? Boy, I'll be glad when this blows over. But what if it doesn't? When I was growing up, we used to pick on this kid named Lowell Horton. We'd chant, Lowell the Mole lives in a hole. Lowell the Mole lives in a hole. How long did that last? Until the day he left for Princeton. Stay on the sidewalk. <coughs> Move along, then. Stay on the sidewalk. Let's not draw any attention to ourselves. <coughs> Rex, Josie, what's going on? A uh, neighborhood meeting. Should we go with you? That wouldn't be a good idea. By the way, we're not going to need you to watch the house while we're away, so if you could return the keys... Rex, they could have made copies. You're right. We'll change the locks. Have a nice day. Hey, McParents. Hi, Busy. Are you going to the meeting, too? Nah, I'm gonna pull Switzerland on this one. Hey, could you guys buy me some beer? Beer? Certainly not. I uh, was just checking to see if you'd really gone dark side. I didn't think so. Thank goodness someone believes us. Yeah, I still like you guys, but I really can't be seen with you because, you know, you're unpopular. What are they talking about over there? Probably discussing which slipknot makes the best noose. But we're a good family. We separate our garbage, we buy dolphin safe tuna. This is completely backwards. Glass. Someone could step on that. If they don't kill us, I'll come back tomorrow and clean it up. Oh, now they're burning the mill down. If we survive, I'm going to organize a 5K run to help rebuild it. Is this bread strong enough for both of us? I think they'll probably hang us one at a time. Would you stop with that? Can you hear what he's saying? Maybe if I get a little closer. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. There he is, right on his favorite perch. I can't believe it. Hello, Daryl. I took the liberty of installing a motion detecting laser grid after I discovered your little hobby. Well, you've seen it with your own eyes. Who wants to sign the petition? This is a lifestyle choice I cannot condone. Give me that pen, love toy. Right, everyone just line up. Oh, and Daryl, on the off chance we haven't run you out of town by next Easter, you're off the egg hunt committee. They've gone too far this time, Wanda. I'm sick of this whole stinking neighborhood. I want to make those wuss bags pay for not seeing what good, decent people we are. I'm with you. They want a bad family. Let's give them a bad family. Oopsie, little spit up. I'll get a wipe. <laughs> You knocked over my trash can. Yep. Well, you gonna clean it up? You gonna make me? Make you. I'm standing right here. Okay, forget it. Still here. I said forget it! Could you turn that down, please? Hey. Hey. Leaves are stacking up. I'll take care of it. Hey! You know, I never would have thought it, but being the bad family is kind of fun. Yeah, you don't waste half the day with boring small talk. 
Wanda, Daryl, how's Zoe? None of your business, prune face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. McPherson, could we have our ball back? No, I think I'll just keep it. Please. We now return to When Animals Eat Their Trainers 3. You know, animals have the right idea. If it feels good, do it. <laughs> <laughs> when did you guys get cable? Recently. Carl, our cable down. What? <laughs> I thought you weren't going to hang out with us anymore, Busy. I miss Zoe, and I'm pretty sure no one saw me come in. Oh, hey, when it's time to leave, could you guys create a diversion? How's firecrackers? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! What'd I tell you kids about ringing this doorbell? Get off my lawn, you! You! Hoodlum! Hoodlums! Zoe Bowie likes to suck her toe! Zoe Bowie likes to suck her toe! Oh, Daryl. Do you realize what we've done? Yeah. We've turned Zoe into Lowell the Mole. How did you think of that? Who knows how inspiration works, Em? This one came to me on the pot. Oh my gosh! Look at all the terrible words that rhyme with Zoe. There's hundreds of them. We gotta change your name to something you can't rhyme. Uh, Hortensia! That'll stop the teasing. We have to figure out some way to undo this before it ruins Zoe's life. You don't want to date her. She's from a bad family. You want to date her. She's from a bad family. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. Carl and Melinda convinced everyone we were bad, and now we really are bad. <laughs> you guys aren't bad. Are so. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Well, then everyone's bad. I mean, who doesn't have some secret they're ashamed of? You guys need more frosting. Daryl. Carl. Melinda. Wanda. Has the baby. May we come in? Why don't you just state your business here? And I already told you, Wanda, I'll give you food but not money. Oh, we don't want anything from you. We just wanted to tell you that, uh, we know. Know what? Your little secret. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I think you know exactly what we're talking about. How'd you find out? What does it matter, Carl? They know! Rodney! I didn't tell him, Dad! Now may we come in? When? Ah. Now, here's how it's gonna be. If you don't want the rest of the neighborhood to know your little secret, you will go door to door and tell everyone you made a mistake about us. And if we don't? We show them the pictures. Carl, they got pictures! What can we do? They hold all the cards. I'll go put on my sneakers. I gotta hand it to you, Daryl. For a guy who recycles, you are one cold-blooded SOB. Back at you, Carl. I think this calls for some champagne. What do you think their secret is? Let's hope we never find out. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson? It certainly is a relief to have everything back to normal. I'll say. Mr. and Mrs. McPherson, would you like to buy some lemonade? We sure would, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, this round's on me, McPherson's. Thanks, Murphy. Hey, that's nice. Happy to treat my favorite family. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Take Here, it bro. easy. All right, then, my pleasure. You know, Wanda, I'll bet things would have gone back to normal even if we hadn't done anything. I think so, too. Good people always do the right thing in the end. And our neighbors are good people. How much do they know? They found out about Carl and Melinda. Smart Money says they got the goods on everyone. No reason to panic. Everything will be fine as long as they don't anger the leader. I'll die before that happens. To the leader! The, the leader! leader.